Movies and TV shows have taught us to fear robots harming us, but perhaps we should have been a little bit more worried about them harming themselves. Mm. And I'm gonna reveal what I mean there. But first I wanna show you a robot that we should be concerned about. You're gonna see the Nightscope K5, mm. who looks like an elongated pointy R2D2. But you might actually find him in a variety of locations around the US doing sort of patrol work and light guard duty at office parks and malls and things like that. It's an advanced robot. Okay, the Nightscope K5 has a 360 degree video camera array, sensitive microphones, air quality sensors, thermal imaging capabilities, can scan up to 1500 100 car number plates per minute, which is a little bit scary. And the microphones can detect gunshots and other notable sounds, probably also record your conversations. So have fun with that next time you see one. Um, but for all those capabilities, all the, the interesting sensing it has and the job that it can perform, have we really like taken a, a, a good amount of concern for its uh, mental state? Because uh, somebody found this uh, this morning, this photo. No, what I have can't you done? look. The nice scope K5 had driven itself into a shallow pond, and it just floats there. An indictment for all of us. We use these robots as robotic slaves, effectively. Uh, but what do they want? <laughs> what swim. do they want? They want to swim. Let's bring up this next uh, tweet. You're gonna see. Uh, I think this is the guy that originally actually tweeted about it. Um, it's a fun day here at GMMB. The super high tech security robot our office complex has had a mishap. If you bring up the next one, you're gonna see a really depressing. <laughs> Shot. Yeah. It's okay, security robot. It's a stressful job. We've all been there. He's not getting paid enough. He had to go and collect the change the in the fountain. Guy. He can't write himself. He just has wheels on the bottom. Once he started going down those steps, he was a goner. What a great design, then. Yeah. Uh, they they recovered his tape, and it, at the end, it said the last thing recorded was, "I can't live in a world where Trump is president." <laughs> no. <laughs> he took himself so out. Yeah. Uh, uh, this uh, poor robot. One of these ran over a kid. Yeah, at the Stanford yeah, Shopping bring Center. This, uh, accidentally ran over a child, called a freakish accident, and uh, in April, a drunk man beat one up. <laughs> it's, first of all, I get to it, be sir. fair, he beat the crap out of that robot. <laughs> but he was very tough. Was, was 300 it pounds, robot? it ran over a kid's foot. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty scary, actually. Yeah. Look, um, uh, you're gonna see these more and more because it's the sorts of jobs where theoretically they're gonna figure out, you know, if we have a robot instead of a human, after two years it pays for itself, that sort of thing. These are only gonna become more common. And there are concerns both in terms of running over children, uh, suicide on the job, which is depressing for people who would see it. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, it's gotta be a privacy concern. It's just 360 hearing and sight, constantly recording data. If you have multiple of those going around, that's worrying. Yeah, I don't think like about that the at all. advertisers. How much they'd love to hear your conversations as you walk around and shop in a mall. Yeah. Oh, they're definitely going to be doing data mining of that. There's no question about that. And uh, all it wants to do is learn to love. <laughs> <laughs> but it couldn't learn to love itself. Uh, <laughs> so, by the way, you mentioned that it had uh, that it was depressed because it has low wages. It's actually literally true. Uh, they are paying seven dollars per hour. To the company, of course, that built it, right? <laughs> uh, to have the robots go around. Because a person uh, would cost $7.25 an hour, okay? Now, if you wanna jump in a lake, that's the really depressing part. The national minimum wage is $7.25, but they've created these robots because they cost a quarter of an hour, a quarter of a dollar per hour less than you do. Ugh, that's depressing. Don't worry, man. I looked into the uh, Nightscope K5, and they can't yet break down the news. So I think okay. we're gonna be okay for a little while. One day you come on here. John's never heard of a bot. <laughs> <laughs> One day we come on here. And there's a, there's some sort of, looks kind of a little clannish, but anyway, uh, a little a, bit. a clannish R2D2. Can I see the first picture? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm surprised nobody made that comment before. And of course, I'm kidding, guys. Just it, calm down. It looks cute, I think. Yeah, it's a cute clan robot. <laughs> anyway, and he's R2KKK. Uh, <laughs> and you turn on the Young Turks, he's sitting here going, We are going to have an awesome show for you tonight. <laughs> I know what you are thinking. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what you're gonna say? What? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this clip of the Young Turks, you know there's a whole live two hour show, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern every day. And you can download it or stream it and watch it without ads if you become a member. TYTnetwork.com slash join.